Hey y'all, welcome back. To those of you who are new, I'm Southern Sassy Mama, and I promise I'll try not to be too sassy today. But today we're gonna to make some strawberry shortcake. Now usually I use boxed cake mixes for a lot of things, but today I'm gonna to make a homemade cake and homemade strawberries for strawberry shortcake. So let's get started. I've got three cups of all-purpose flour here. To this, I'm going to add four teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to whisk these to combine. I have one and one third cups sugar, two eggs, a half cup of butter or one stick that I have softened, one cup of milk, and two and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I'm gonna take my trusty mixer here and get this mixed up. I have a nine by 13 pan that I've sprayed with nonstick spray and I also lined it with parchment paper and this will help get the cake out when it's ready. I'm going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 30 minutes, just until it's brown around the edges. While the cake is baking, I'm going to take these fresh strawberries and I'm gonna slice them and wash them really good. Here I've cleaned and sliced about a pint and a half of strawberries. You can use just one pint if you want. I've got them in a pot here on the stove I'm going to add a half cup of sugar onto these, and I'm gonna cook these over medium heat just until the sugar dissolves into the strawberries good. If your strawberries are kinda of dry, if they're not real juicy, then you can always add a tablespoon or two of water. Pressing the spoon onto the strawberries will release a little more juice also. The sugar has dissolved. I'm gonna take these off of the heat and let them cool for a little bit, and then we'll be back to check on the cake. Okay, my cake is ready. So what I'm gonna do now is just let the strawberries and the cake cool completely, and then we'll put it together. The cake has cooled just a little. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the pan. I'm going to cut this in a way that'll make it easier for me to put it back into the pan. Our strawberry shortcake is going to have two layers. So we're gonna cut this down the middle. I'm gonna take about half of my strawberries and put it over this bottom layer of cake. Then I've got a container of Cool Whip. This is an eight ounce container. I'm gonna layer this over the top. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to taste good. I think this is one of my favorite desserts along with homemade banana pudding. And I made a homemade banana pudding video and I'll link it up in the cards. That way if you haven't seen it, you can go watch it. Now for the top layer. Now I'll add the rest of my strawberries to the top. And I just add the juice along with it. And then I add a second container, eight ounces of Cool Whip. This goes into the refrigerator for about 30 to 45 minutes and we're gonna let it cool and then we'll cut us a piece and see what it looks like. I almost ate this without showing y'all. I'm excited. Now y'all know the first piece usually ain't pretty, so don't judge. Oh, it ain't too bad. And I'll garnish it with a strawberry. 
Now I gotta taste it. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Mm. I wanna say thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you around. I'll see y'all next time.